My name is Joe, and uh, my uh, job title is Volunteer uh, and Development Officer. My name is Becca and I'm currently a Library and Culture Customer Assistant at Slough Library. My name is Erin and I'm a Community Library Supervisor at Slough Library Council. My name is Tava and my job role is a Libraries and Culture Customer Assistant. My name is Liz and I'm the Libraries and Culture Services Manager for Slough. Myself and my whole team have been helping during this time with a, a range of um, services and activities and these include making phone calls to vulnerable people, helping on a, a community call centre, making up food parcels, um, creating and delivering arts bags for young people. All of the staff have been doing online activities I've just been amazed by their creativity and really what they've been able to do in such a short space of time. My role has changed a lot. I've taken on a lot of online content. So I've been uploading various activities to our social media platforms. This is a great way for us to connect with our customers. We can do it via Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I'm now undertaking lots of online activity for people to get involved with. So for example, uh, Slough Sofa Cinema Club. Um, so that's a weekly Zoom film chat about films that people can access for free. We've also done story time for grown-ups. Today we're going to be reading Jerome K. Jerome's Three Men in a Boat. I'm also planning on doing a bit about chess, online chess, and maybe have an art club. So now I've been filming like craft videos, so I did a colouring video, some decoupage, and then I've been reading out children's story challenges, so we're doing something called Golden Words Challenge. So basically the children get given five words and they can write a hundred words about a story that they create and then I read it aloud onto our Facebook pages. I'm going to read another Golden Words Challenge to you. This one has been given to us by Zoe this time. You don't really expect much from it, but then when you see like the family and friends of that child, they've commented, liked it, shared it and they're just really excited about it and you just think, oh that was like five minutes of my day but that's probably made their whole day. One of the other things that we did, we made up some art resources because we realised we were putting up online activities and we thought, well, perhaps some people either don't have the money or the way to get these resources. We've had to undergo some really rapid training, some ad hoc training to do with the call centre. And um, obviously these are very vulnerable people we are talking to, very worried people. So we have to have the social skills of listening is the main thing. Listen to them, don't interrupt them, don't cut them off. Let them tell you what they need and then try our best to provide their service. So in the call centre, we're getting calls for people needing help with either prescription, food, as in that they don't have any food at all, or needing help to do their shopping because either they're isolating or their normal support networks and the people who do normally help them are currently isolating or unable to help them in the same way. Some of these vulnerable people, they live, the elderly people, they're seniors and they live on their own and um, they don't have anyone else to talk to. And um, so, you know, just by listening to them, it could be just a simple thing of they just want their medicine and you're arranged for them or it's their food parcel or it's just a cooked meal. And, you know, it's just them knowing that that is on the way to them and it's all been sorted and they don't have to worry about it. The community's response has been pretty great from what I've seen and um, everything that we've been doing. So even when people are calling us um, at the call centre, they are just so appreciative just that you've answered the call. They're saying thank you for helping them. They're calling back to say that I got that food parcel, my prescription came, or I'm okay now, thank you for everything you did, or whoever that person was, whatever name was, they say thank you to them. And they're always telling us at the end of the calls, make sure you stay safe and take care of yourself. So I think a lot of people really do care and appreciate that there are people out there trying to help and be there for them in some way. Uh, I think it's very important that the library services are offering this um, for the obvious reason that the libraries are closed and therefore you have um, a, a workforce that are ready to, to lend a hand and also it's a workforce that are used to dealing with people. We are that heart of the community and it, all of this really does emphasise you know, the strength of having libraries whether they're in physical buildings or they're online. And I think when everything, if 
and when it goes back to normal, then we're in a really good position because people value libraries and this has really shown that that the staff as well have got such amazing skills that you know we are an important and key part of that community.